Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steven Suptic. And I'm Mike Falzone. Mike was supposed to read this with Steven today, but Mike is on his honeymoon. So today I will be playing the part of Mike. That's why the jokes sound like they're for old people and why I'm wearing a backwards hat. Anyway, Steven, what's the coolest thing you've ever built? I mean, what's the coolest thing you've ever built? I don't know. How does he sound? Well, Mike, the coolest thing I ever built was a treasure chest with my dad, and inside of it there was a picture of our family, and I still have it to this day. That's beautiful, Steven. I love wrestling. Wow, sounds like a wonderful bonding experience you had. Really sweet. Hey guys, Steven makes treasure chests with his dad. dad! <laughs> Loser! And in the chest is a photo of, wait for it, their family. You suck! <laughs> oh you guys God. are all my friends. You guys are both of them. Go home! <laughs> What are we laughing about? Oh, I was having a f run over on me, guys. What went over on me? I love wrestling. Believe it or not, this house was made entirely by one 3D printer. Uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, here's a photo. I believe it immediately. A company called Apis Core created a 3D printer that isn't located at a factory. That's right, it builds a home on site. So you mean to tell me, Mike Falazone, that if I go to Best Buy right now and get one of those 3D thingy babs that prints mainly stupid looking balls and paperweights, I can also build a home for my family and children and a place to keep my furniture. I'm Mike Falzone. Absolutely not. For starters, this machine is way bigger and it looks like a small tower crane. Instead of building parts separately in factories, the crane sits in one spot on the worksite, finishes building, and is removed via crane manipulator. Cut to a clip. How many trees does the 3D printer cut down? <laughs> Well, Michael, trees are a concept of the past, Mike. Concrete is a 3D printer's best friend, and in order for the concrete mixture to set correctly, the temperature has to be above 5 degrees Celsius. So you're telling me big, burly, catcalling construction workers could essentially be replaced by nerds who are good at puzzles. That's right, and to prove it, we have Chris here, office puzzle man capable of solving any Rubik's Cube in a matter of 30 seconds. Here's Chris talking about the housing market crash in 2008 while solving a Rubik's Cube. Can you talk about the housing market crash? Now I gotta do two things? Do whatever you want, I guess. Can you at least just solve the Rubik's Cube? Look! Look, a house! After the house comes together, insulation is sprayed on the walls, then coated in plaster. The house is painted, the windows and roof are installed, and bang rang! You have a beautiful home fitted with all modern day amenities, and it probably won't blow away with the wind or melt in the rain. Here's the kicker. <laughs> The cost to build the house came out to approximately $10,134, even though it's only 400 square feet. That's insane. That's a house for the same price of $10,134 Wendy's Junior Bag and Chase Bagus. So picture this. The distant future, AI, is very much a reality. 3D printed homes are simple, fast, and easy. You're a creepy billionaire. You purchase a large plot of land. You create homes with the push of a button. You purchase a large sum of AI people. You put them in a town and remind them that you are the master. And there you have it, real life sims. Ooh, can we make them? pee themselves and have sex? That's not how you play The Sims. Maybe it's not how you play The Sims. Very clearly a Mike joke. In the comments below, how do you play The Sims? Would you buy this cheap-ass house and ruin it with all of your guy friends who don't shower enough and want to stay young forever? I'm Mike Falzone. And I'm Steven Suptic. Uh, good bless. I can feel it. Those were probably two of the better stories. It's been me the whole time. <laughs> are big and bulky. Have a portal design. Have height